welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches. If you're new, welcome. So glad you're here. Seriously, I'm really glad you guys are here. Uh, today, we're making Bella's lunch. Today, I was not feeling the greatest. Of course, we're making her lunch. I don't even know why I say that sometimes. And I'm clearly not even using my brain because I just did that wrong. It'll be fine. So, yeah, I'm not feeling the hottest. So, that probably has a lot to say with what I'm doing. But I'm just going to cut this into, like, a homemade Uncrustable. Because, you know, your girl's too cheap to go and buy the Uncrustables. Every now and then, I do buy them. I'm not going to lie. I have bought them in the past. It's been a while. It's been a long while since I have. But I have bought them. That's why Bella knows about them. Okay, so I got my little baby Uncrustable. And I'm going to turn him into... Or her, I don't know, reindeer. <laughs> oh my gosh, where is my brain? So I'm going to use a little bit of peanut butter, I think, as my glue. See, I bought this little reindeer making kit. I'll show it to you. Give me one second just to attach these. Because you could make them too. I mean, you could buy it too. Or make it. You do you. Okay, there are some eyeballs on him. And I thought I could just like shove this in. Okay, let me just shove it in. I'm going to put a nose on her, him it on the reindeer and it even came with like this little bow oh it could be a girl if I put it up there or maybe a girl wants to wear it down there I'm gonna put it up here though right I should probably do this after I do the antlers but I'm not going to I'm gonna do this part first so how was your Thanksgiving <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen you guys forever I mean I haven't seen any of you talk to you I need a napkin hold on okay look Look at her, him, her. It's a girl now. And I have these things. I'm just going to like shove it in, like kind of twist it in. Oh my gosh. Stop it. You stop being so cute. How do I get it in? Oh, back here there's a little hole. There. See what I did there? And I just shoved it in a hole there. She's fine. She is happy with life. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest reindeer. So I just flatten a cupcake liner and I put it in the bottom of my container. And then I can put her on top. Because that is the cutest thing I've seen in my entire, entire life. Oh, and I can use this to push it down. <laughs> Look at that. So I just washed a few little tomatoes and... They are dry now, so they can be popped in there. And then she also loves, loves, loves baby corn. And yes, you just eat the entire little thing. They're super good. Okay, so I decided I have like this little container. I'm just going to pack her some little cashews in there. And then also I have just a little yogurt, like a gogurt. I bought them at Costco. You get a whole bunch of them in the box, so I'm going to pack her one of these. And this will be her little lunch. How cute is that? A little peanut butter sandwich. Guaranteed she's not going to eat these things. They're candy. They're edible, but she won't eat them. And then some little cashews that she bought for herself when she was selling the Girl Scout cookies. And, or nuts. They don't sell cookies yet. And then some tomatoes and a baby corn. So there's her lunch. How cute. We'll see what she eats. Oi, right, Bella. How'd you do? <laughs> How'd you do? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Did you eat the little, any of the little candy things on him? Uh, no. yeah, some. Um, all right. Did, did you eat any of those? I ate, I licked one. Oh, gosh, Bella. All right. and, wait, and I'm not hiding anything over there. No, 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 no! an antler. Did you eat those or no? You didn't want them? Nah. They are edible, so when I make it again, you can eat them. They're just candy. Oh, I didn't really taste like anything. Oh, yeah, they probably really don't. <laughs> you don't have to eat them. All right, good job, Bella. Thanks. Okay, oh, before we get into Bella's lunch today, I forgot. I was going to show you this yesterday, and then I didn't. But this is the little guys that I had used, like the little, like, eyeballs and things. I bought it at Walmart. Now, be careful when you're buying it because they are easily broke. So just really look at it before you buy it because I bought one and a lot of the pieces are busted for, like, the reindeer antlers. So anyway, this is what it is. It's just a Wilton decorating kit. Oh, and I have to show you guys something at the end of the, I have to do it at the end. 
but let me just show you what it is. <laughs> have you seen this stuff? Have any of you gone into Bath and Body Works recently? Because if you have, you've seen this. I feel like they're demoing it the entire time. Uh, it is like Pop Rocks and lotion all in one. Except it's not candy, so it's not going to make your hands sticky. Oh, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. Okay? We'll do it at the very end. Yes. Uh, okay, so for Bella's lunch, she wants peanut butter sandwich because that's all this child eats. Oopsies. And I can't find a knife, so I'm going to just use a spoon because that's what we do. Should we do a bell today? If the bread, when you're cutting into it, if there's still peanut butter, like, I frosted what did I do I spread peanut butter on this entire thing so guess what this turns into bed lunch so I don't even have to worry about Bella's bed lunch when she is awake when I'm packing her lunches sometimes she's already in bed and then it's Amy's bed lunch but if she's still up then guess what she gets to have that for her bed lunch so anyway why am I talking about that I don't even know oh because everybody gets worried that I'm wasting all this bread that's where I was going with that I, I don't waste it come on you guys I get sad when I waste milk. I feel bad for the cows. You think I'm going to waste bread? I don't waste it. That's the point of my story. Who cares? Oh my gosh. Move on, Amy. Uh, okay, we are going to... Look at this. I mean, you guys have already seen it. But they're little hummus packs. Not as good as homemade hummus, but oh, they're pretty darn good, if I say so myself. I think they're pretty good. I'm going to put her uh, pita chips over here just to kind of keep them from going soggy like with the bread sometimes it can affect it I don't know but then over here in this geez she's not getting like any fruits with her lunch today that's okay I'll give her fruit tonight I'm gonna give her black olives am I really not giving her any well no I was gonna say well the tomatoes are fruit there's no tomatoes in here I think because I was like contemplating cutting up a tomato and making it the bell but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> I love how I just talk myself out of whatever I'm planning to do. Anyway, I was also going to give her an orange. I'm not going to do that either. Look at I got these little Santa hats. Oh, my gosh. I don't remember where I got them. Walmart, maybe? They're so cute. So I'm going to put a Santa hat on the bill. I'm going to give her a yogurt. Here is her lunch for tomorrow. She's getting a peanut butter bell, some black olives, hummus, pita chips, and a yogurt. That's a good lunch. That's plenty. But... Anyway, there you go. All right, Bella. Like, uh, how'd, how'd you, you do? do? Pretty darn good. The, All right. The sandwich was like the best part. <laughs> I was really craving it. Of course, peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> Always for the win. All right, good job. Thanks. All right, we ready to make another lunch. This is just a cupcake liner I flattened. This is a sandwich skinny, sandwich thin. Whatever you call them, just, it's just for, you know, we're doing pizza today. Can you believe it? We're not doing a peanut butter sandwich. I already put the cheese in the little cup just because I don't like reaching my hand into cheese bags. I don't know why. It's weird. But it was, like, annoying to, like, pour it. So I had to use, like, a fork, and it that didn't work, so then I used a spoon. It was a whole process, so you're welcome. I saved you from that annoyance. Tonight, Bella had a hockey game, and so that was fun to watch. They are so stinking cute. I just really enjoy watching her play hockey, and my mom came, so that was fun. My sister stopped by for a little bit. Her kids were playing hockey in another rink, so the way... um. I'm just going to give her all this pepperoni. If she eats it, she eats it. If she doesn't, she doesn't. It expires at the end of this month, but there's not very much left, so I'm just going to give her all of it. The ice rink, the way it's set up is there's three. So there's like two on either end and then like a main one in the middle, and it's really cold in there, okay? I know. I complain about it all the time, but I just want you to understand how freezing cold I am sitting there, and she's sweating. Like, her cheeks are pink because she's hot mine are pink because I'm freezing and then this weekend I have to do dibs which is like you have to volunteer when you um when your kid is in hockey so they call it dibs I don't know do you guys call it that I've never heard of that so anyway I am doing um and you have to do 12 hours 
So, you know, it'd be nice if you had somebody that would, like, help you out with it. But her dad doesn't live here. And when he is here, he is not interested in doing that. So, whatever. Understandable, I guess. But whatever. That, this is just pineapple. And it looks funky. This is melon. I just bought a thing of fruit from Hy-Vee. See? Look. I'm a big cheater head. I don't care. I'm just so tired. <laughs> I know you guys are getting sick of me saying that, but I'm really, really exhausted and I feel like I have so much to do and not enough time and I just need help and nobody's helping me. Anyway, I know it's just because it's the holiday season. So she's getting like an, a, a variety of fruit in here. I was going to try and fit. Can I like take out a pineapple and throw in like a strawberry? Guys, I just like gave myself an entire, oh gosh, a heart attack. I went out because I could hear something out my door. So I went outside to see what it was, and it was just my neighbor, but I wasn't expecting anybody to really be there. I don't know why I even, like, <sighs> she's like, oh, hi. <laughs> I about jumped out of my skin, like, legit scared me. Okay, this carrot looks weird, but did you even see him? He looks goofy. Looks like somebody took a bite out of him. Anyway, I'm just going to do that. <sighs> that scared me. Okay, so I'm also going to give her some of these almonds. I don't know. I'm just like digging through my cupboard to see what I have that I can pack with. You know, basically like a free lunch. Just using stuff that I have already at my house. So she's getting the pizza. And this is pizza sauce to put on there. I buy it in a little squeeze thing. And it makes it super easy for packing lunches. So look for them. I find this over by, you know, like usually like in the aisle, there's like a teeny little section that just has like pizza things like pizza crusts and the sauce and the mushrooms and whatever, like cans of them like to put on the pizza. That's where you're going to find this guy. So look over there if you're looking for it. I've had a few people say you can't find it. Look there. At least that's what they do at my hy Um, Okay. So she's getting the little thin thing, the pizza sauce, carrots toppings for her pizza black olives cheese pepperoni and then some little almonds and then just a mixture of fruit in the bag so here it is all decorated and we will see what she eats all, all right, right bella how'd, how'd you, you do, do? <laughs> i don't like when it like slams yeah. yeah okay so this is just did you yeah clearly did you use any sauce bella clearly <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm not hiding anything, I swear. And you have only, you ate only one carrot? Or you only have one little carrot? No. What the heck? I was just going to say, you only have like one little bit of carrot left. Looks like you took one bite of carrot. And then I have that. And you ate all your fruit. All right. Good job, Bella. Thanks. We are going to make Bella's lunch. Duh. I mean, what else have we been doing this entire video? So I'm going to start by... I'm using these cutters, and so I have to cut each slice separate. Because, see, they're like the size of a slice of bread. So let me cut out this guy. Do you know what I did tonight? Actually, it wasn't just me. Bella did it, too. But we went, there's this program in Sioux Falls called Sioux Falls Cares or We Care Sioux Falls or something. I don't know. You can volunteer to help at it. And we were drivers. So we went and picked up a bunch of boxes of food, like a lot of boxes of food. And we delivered it to a family that needed it. First of all, it took us an hour. Like we waited in our car in line for an hour. It moved very slowly. But once they got the people in, that's just like to kind of give you an idea of how many people were lined up to help. Everybody was in the same boat. We were all waiting just to get some food and supplies for a family who needed it. This Christmas. So they got um, toys for the kids. There were four kids in the family that we helped and they ranged from age 14 to one and they got towels, frozen meat, uh, milk, detergent, clothing. So I really hope that they um, feel loved because I know you know, it looked like maybe they were from uh, another country. So maybe they are here to Sioux Falls 
They didn't know a lot of English. Maybe they've lived here for a while. I don't know. I'm just assuming that maybe, and we don't know what people's lives are. So that was one thing that I told Bella. I said, you know what? This house that we go to, they might have more stuff than we do. Because you never know. They might they might be look like they're better off than we are, but maybe they were a few months ago. And maybe they lost their job. Maybe somebody got sick. We don't know. We have no clue what happens in people's lives and why they fall on hard times. But some people just need some help. It's good to, you know, include your kids any time that you are giving. I'm having a heck of a time cutting this meat. So let me come back to you in a minute when I get it all cut out. Okay, I'm back. So the point of me saying that is not to brag. Gosh, I feel like nowadays we all have to, like, explain ourselves why we do things. It was just to maybe motivate you to do something nice too to somebody else or comment down below if you've done something nice because I feel I really feel like it's a ripple effect if you do something nice for somebody then they have like this love inside them and they want to go do something nice for somebody else and I just feel like if you drop a pebble in a pond you can watch all the ripples go you can be the pebble that starts it all so go do something good for somebody else that was the whole point of what I was saying not to break like, even, like, moms now are being, like, shamed for the gifts that they're buying their kids. I guess somebody had commented on Raising Halo's channel saying that she... Oh, every single time. I'm no longer a professional. I was doing good for a while, but not, not so much anymore. Okay, that's plenty. Anyway, what I was saying is Raising Halo, Ebony over there, I guess she got shamed for buying gifts for her child. Come on. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I can't afford what other people afford, but I don't, like, get mad because they're buying their kids things. Who cares? Let people do what they want to do. Look what I bought. Are these not the cutest things ever? Oh, the penguin. You guys, I'm going to do my penguin uh, black olives next week. Yeah, that's going to be so cute. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'll clean up my mess in a second. But look it, I have these. Should I have these? Okay. I was going to say on the bottom. Let me see if I have more. Some blueberries down there. And then have this little guy. I was going to have like the blueberries going around him like he was juggling them. But all right. I'm also going to pack her a little broccoli and a little cauliflower. Sometimes she eats them. Sometimes she doesn't. So we're going to give them a try. <gasps> Actually, I think I have decorations for those. Hold on. Look, I do. So I kept these. They're like sprinkles from last year. So I just kept them in the little cup. How can I attach them though? I'm going to do it with a little bit of yogurt. So I'm going to do like, because I was going to do peanut butter, but then I had the yogurt out already. So I'm just like dotting it on. I think it just needs like a little bit of glue just to help it stick. All right. That is her. Her lunch tomorrow. She is getting a peanut butter. Nope. Oh my gosh. A ham sandwich. And I think my dad made the ham. And then some cauliflower and broccoli, blueberry, and yogurt with a little gummy snowman guy. I know she's not going to eat any of the candy things, but they're cute decorations. Anyway, we'll see what she eats. Okay, before I show you what's in Bella's lunchbox, what she ate, I have to share with you, this little company reached out to me. They're called Tiny Hands, and they make itty bitty teeny tiny jewelry. Oh my gosh, she makes these by hand. So this is a little cute cotton candy. And it feels like actual cotton candy. Yeah. Like it feels like, it's like soft. Yeah. Okay. And then she also sent us this adorable little cupcake. That actually looks like realistic. I mean, look at that frosting in the cupcake. Yeah. Look at it. I am not doing it justice. I totally am not. Yes. It, it, smell. it smells like a lollipop, a cupcake, and a cotton candy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They smell so good. They really do. And look at this little lolly. So she has, um, you can do like bracelets, you can do necklaces. They are so stinking cute. So go and check her out. I'm going to leave her linked down below. And like, look at that little waffle. Yeah, they look have, at it. like, look at this tiny little waffle. And macaroon. 
Anna Macker. Yeah, you, got, you just go check out her thing. She's got a ton. She's yeah. got so many options that you can pick from. And they are all so cute. They come wrapped in a pink little bow. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it. But they are so cute. And you could totally start like a charm bracelet. Yeah. Any 80s babies in here yeah. that remember charms from the 80s and 90s? Anyway. Uh, and I love all things little. Yeah, like that's the biggest part. Let me show you another little thing that I recently got. At, oh my gosh. I bought this at Walmart. It's a tiny it's yeah. like this big. So this when big. I say I love things teeny tiny, like that is right up my alley. Yep. So I need to get more because I want like my own little charm <laughs> bracelet with all the foods on it. Okay, so how'd you do, Bella? There's nothing. <laughs> There's an eye stuck on the top. <laughs> and I really wanted to eat that, but like I was like, is that the mom of these ones? <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, we use doilies <laughs> like she does. Anyway, okay. Good job, Bella. That was a great week of lunches. And thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that button, and comment. Bye.